Welcome everybody. I'm Kelly from Bradford History and Hauntings and I'm here today with Imtiaz from the Bradford District Channel and we're here in Keefley to look at Lowbridge Mill and the chimney that occupies the mill. Now this is a special chimney. It has three faces on the mill and the history behind it is quite brief, but we're going to have a little look at it today and look at possibly why those faces are there on that mill. So let me tell you a little bit about the history of Lowbridge Mill. It was built in the early 1800s by James Fox, who was a manufacturer at the time. It's been occupied by the Ellison family, the Wilkinson family, and later on in the early 1900s by the Warleys. Sadly, in 1839, the beautiful chimney, as you can see, fell down, came crashing into the engine room and destroyed the engine room completely, causing 800 pounds worth of damage, which was quite a lot of money considering the time period of the 1800s. It was a really bad, bad storm that caused that fall. And it wasn't just here in Keefley, it actually happened across the whole of the district and it had a knock-on effect on other chimneys as well. In 1917, it was owned by the Worley family, by George Worley, and the name was proudly displayed on the chimney at the side as a local landmark. So the fascinating thing about this chimney and it's quite famous for this, is the heads that are situated on the chimney. Now there's actually three of them and there's many, many tales around why they are there. Nobody knows why, it's not fully documented, but there's many reasons. There could be because of the owners that built the mill, it could be to represent their authority and their wealth. It could be um, for, not in this case, but some people believe for you know spiritual protection that some people, place these faces on, on buildings such as chimneys, bridges, houses or most likely in this case it could be that the builder that built the chimney sadly passed away and it, to represent him and to remember him and commemorate him and that and one of them is possibly him that is up there and I think it could be the, the bigger one there's actually two small ones and one big one so it could be for the bigger face that's on there or it could just be um, for decorative purposes. You know, everyone's got their own beliefs, but it is a fascinating chimney to come and see. So here we are inside Lowbridge Mill, which is now the home of Worth Valley Antiques. Absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful inside. It's been beautifully renovated. And this mill was one of the first in the country to be powered by steam and um, sadly though even though it's undergone like a renovation now it had to undergo and be completely rebuilt another renovation back in 1820 when it sadly burnt down then around the 1830s it was turned into a corn mill so we're going to take you outside in a moment with the drone get some footage of the heads that are on the chimney mill and show you them in detail.
So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this brief history of this beautiful mill and the unusual chimney. And catch us next time. Um, don't forget to follow the page, Bradford History and Hauntings and Bradford District Channel. Thank you.